Hello, dear students. I hope you're doing well. In our English lesson today, we're going to see how to write an essay in which we're going to provide solutions. We're going to see how we can give the reader's opinion and, of course, the linking words and the appropriate vocabulary that we need for that. I would like you to think of these two pictures. What do they show? We have got, in both pictures, graffiti. Do you think that graffiti is a form of vandalizing or is a form of art? Some people think that it might be vandalism. Nobody has the right to do whatever they think in another person's property or in the state's property. Some others, though, believe that since they are creating very good pictures, this is a form of art and people shouldn't stop them. So we have got different opinions. This is what we're going to start with. We're going to state our opinion on a specific topic. So, we have the news focus and there is a daily discussion. The topic is graffiti. It's a street art or it's a crime? This is what you should keep into your minds. So the information starts in this magazine or it could be in a website. Yesterday, five members of a graffiti gang were sentenced to eight to 18 months in prison, so they were put in prison for graffiti, for damaging public property. The judge said that the damage had cost the government at least one million pound. The question must be asked about the people who spray graffiti. Are they artists or vandals? So this is the question. And now, since you've read, you have read this, you would like to give your own opinion. Which are the ways? You can start by the expression. Personally, I believe that street art is a form of art. So first, you state your opinion. However, if you want to say something different now, it is illegal to paint on public or private property Without permission, local councils spend millions of pounds each year cleaning graffiti. And this means that taxes go up. So you might think that, is a street, that street art is a form of art. However, there are many problems that it causes. For this reason, so for this reason that he just said, that there uh, is a need of m a lot of money to be cleaned graffiti. I agree that the gang of graffiti artists should get prison sentences. So these people should be put into prison. When the judge sent the graffiti artists to prison, he gave a clear message to other graffiti artists. You think you are expressing yourself but you are also committing a crime. And what is more, you could go to prison. So that was one person's opinion, the reader's opinion. Which are the expressions that we can use? We said, we can start by giving our opinion in a piece of writing by saying, I think that, personally I believe that, you can add further points, like, in fact, I also agree that, I also think that, from the text that we just read, what is more, you add another idea. You want to give an opposite opinion now. So you said something, but there might be something against that, opposite. On the other hand, we say on the one hand and on the other hand. I strongly disagree, or we can say, however, and then we can continue with a different, with a negative argument. And to conclude, in the end, therefore, 
So that is why, for this reason, so you justify your opinion, the one that you just said. Let's move on. We have got now another opinion. The first person said that people who do street art, they should be put into prison. We have a different opinion now. Let's go and complete it together. Thank you for your excellent article. I found it interesting because it shows that street art can be called vandalism or free expression, depending on your point of view. Personally, says now, I believe that street art is a form of art. Now, in, take a look, in fact, there are some famous street arts who sell their work for a lot of money. I also, we have the same point, so you agree, because you say also, it is the same positive point, let's say. I also agree that people who do graffiti are committing a crime. So until now, we have this opinion that they are committing a crime. On the one hand, I think they should be punished, but on the other hand, I strongly disagree with your opinion. So we had one opinion here, and here we have an opposing opinion. These people are not danger criminals. They have vandalized public property and therefore they should clean the graffiti and do community service. So this person agrees that might be called vandalism, but does she believe that they should be put in prison? No. So if you think these two opinions, the first one and this one that we just saw, what do they agree on about graffiti? That both of them is a form of art. So street art, they believe, is a form of art. But which is the opinion that they disagree about? Concerning the fact whether they, the people that do graffiti, should be put into prison or not. The first one said that they should go to prison and the second one, no, they should do some social uh, service, some community service, so they can, they can clean, for example, what they did. And who do you agree with? Do you believe that the first one is more right or the second one? Which is your opinion? Is closer to the first one or the second one. And let's move on. Apart from the reader's opinion, we're going to deal with a solution to a problem. So we're going to deal with an essay now. Our essay has to do with something that in which we need to give different solutions to different problems. Of course, we need to state our opinion and give some solutions. How? We're going to see that together. You have had the class discussion about what can be done to stop the illegal hunting of endangered species. So this is our topic. Hunting illegally the species that are in danger, that might get extinct. Your teacher has asked you to write an essay providing solutions to the problem. Write your essay, 120 to 160 words, and think about. You are given beforehand two different ideas that you can touch, that you can deal with. Two different solutions. Heavy fines, so put heavy fines on the people that hunt illegally or 
products that come from endangered species, probably they should stop using them. So you're given an orientation. As these are the two paragraphs, the two main paragraphs that you have. Before start uh, writing, you are going to think of some questions. First of all, what type of essay is it? We said it's an essay in which we give solutions to a problem. Who is going to read it? Your teacher, of course, because your teacher has asked you to write this. What is the style? It is a formal style, of course. Whenever we have essays, we have formal styles. And which of the following solutions could go in our essay? Since we said that we can put heavy fines, one idea would be to employ rangers to protect wildlife and to put heavy fines into illegal hunters. Persuade people to volunteer at local animal shelter? No, it has nothing to do with that. Encourage people to see wild animals in their natural habitat? Are we going to use that as an argument, as a solution? Probably not. And make sure people do not buy products that come from endangered species this is what we can use in the second paragraph of the main body. And of course, we always need to have a model. Based on this model, we can write our own essay. This is the focus. So, let's go and read and then let's say it, what does each paragraph include. According to, wild, to World Wildlife Fund, nearly 25% of all mammal species are under threat of extinction. So we start by giving some information, some very uh, interesting, of course, on the one hand, but this is uh, very discouraging information. Despite that, there are still people who illegally hunt endangered species. So what can we do to solve this problem? So what do we do? In the first paragraph, we state the problem. We state, we say that there are still illegal hunters. So what can we do? We are asking ourselves and we are also giving solutions at the same time. One solution, so we start the paragraph by stating that we are going to give a solution, is to employ park rangers to protect the wildlife. For instance, for example, they can patrol the nature reserves and catch anyone hunting illegally and impose heavy fines, make them pay uh, on them. If we do this, so, we gave the solution and we are stating what will happen, the result. If we do this, hunters may stop killing endangered species. So, in the second paragraph, we are stating our first solution with the example and the expected result. Another solution, so we start with a linking word. One solution, another solution, is to stop people buying products that come from endangered species. We gave our idea. For example, advertising campaigns can raise awareness of what people should not buy. As a result, people will not buy products from endangered species. So, there will be no demand on them for them and no need to uh, hurt them. So we gave now the second solution with the example and of course with the result. And the last paragraph, to sum up, this is how we start the last paragraph, there are ways to stop illegal hunting. 
So what are we doing here? We are restating that there are solutions to the problem. If heavy fines are imposed for hunting illegally and people are educated, so we just restate what uh, we did in paragraph two and three, then endangered species can be saved. Unless we stop illegal hunting now, today's endangered species will be tomorrow's museum exhibits. So in the last paragraph, we summarize the solutions that we gave. We restate the solutions that we gave. So this was our model with the four paragraphs and what we should put in every single paragraph. Let's go now and use some of the useful language that we need in three different examples. We've got the second, the third and the last uh, paragraph. Let's go and decide. As a result, or to begin with, how do we start the paragraph with the solutions? Of course, to begin with, we need to take better care of the local environment. Then we give the example. For example, we can plant more trees. This is how we can take better care. And then the result, by doing this, there will be less carbon dioxide in the air that we breathe. The same structure again in the second solution. Now, one way to reduce homelessness is for local councils to provide sheltered accommodation. We have another solution now in a different problem, uh, of course. And such as hotels and bed and breakfast. So again, we give the solution to the problem and we give one example. So how can we provide shelter accommodation? By providing hostels and bed and, be and, and uh, breakfast uh, places. And in another uh, problem, and of course that is the end, the last paragraph, all things considered, there are a lot of solutions to the problem of litter. This is a different problem now. We can provide more bins, that would have been the second paragraph, and make people who litter the street pay heavy fines. So that would be, let's say, the conclusion. And of course here you can see lots of uh, vocabulary that you can use to start, to add with a solution, to give examples, and then to conclude. How you can start with uh, the last paragraph. Now, for homework, I would like from you to think of the heavy traffic that we have in our cities. And you can write an essay about heavy traffic. And I would like from you to write an essay providing solutions to the problem. What you should think about? Carpooling, that could be one solution. So carpooling is sharing a car with your friend, sharing a car with your colleague. There's no need to be used just one car to go to work, to commute to work, but one person could help another one. There would be two or three people so this is car sharing, car pulling, so that we can have less cars and less traffic, of course. And another solution would be the public transport system. So you could use more the public transport system. There could be, for example, some improvements in that so that every single one might feel better in there. So write your four paragraphs. Don't forget to take a look at the model that uh, we saw together and to include the solutions given. Thank you for paying attention. Goodbye.